Whoosh, it's the cast. Apple is synonymous with cool, style, design, and quality. Microsoft, however, is synonymous with crap. Synonymous with cheap, boring, and low quality. I'm sure a marketing executive could turn these words right around, from quality into overpriced, and from cheap into highly economical for the family. But one thing still remains, cool versus crap. Microsoft is bogged down with the backwards compatibility that Apple evades. Windows 95, 98, ME, 2000, and XP have identical user interfaces and inner structures. When Vista attempted to improve upon both, it was shunned. Developers said, superfluous visual effects take up too many system resources. And it's just not the same. Conversely, Apple was first to remove floppy disk drives from their computers. And with the advent of the MacBook Air, first removed the optical disk drives. Steve Jobs once quoted hockey legend Wayne Gretzky in saying, I go to where the puck is going, not where it has been. It's easy to see where the puck is going when you compare this, a DVD, and this, flash memory. They both hold equal amounts of data, and yet one is obviously smaller. One takes much less power to operate. One's cost per gigabyte is going down faster than the other ones ever did, and one is not owned everywhere you look and copyrighted by organizations like the MPAA. It's also easy to see where the puck is going when you compare this to, well, wireless. I mean, Apple's MacBook Air and their iPhones and iPod Touches, they operate wirelessly, they operate with flash memory, because Apple's looking ahead, where the puck is going, not where it has been. 